I really felt that this regime was great for, you know, the lazy person like me because, um, you know, if you're, if you, you know, you don't want to get out the, the shampoos and the conditioners and the pre-poo and the poo-poos and all the poos, right? It's just great. You just put your head under the tap and you rinse it out and you're good to go. But I've been even lazier than that. Hello, it's Laifa. How are you? So I want to give you a quick hair update. What's happening in my life in terms of my hair? My hair is going through some serious issues let's talk about my water only update and if i'm still gonna be going forward with it and i'm so disappointed in having to say this but i don't think i will continue on this water only journey and it breaks my heart to say this because i've watched so many videos of like girls they start it and then they, they 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 stop and I'm like, no, I'm gonna be the one to persevere and keep it up and make it my lifestyle. But um, over the past three months, I have really struggled with this routine. Now, don't get it twisted. This, I believe that this routine does work, but like everything, it's about consistency. Now, if you're not using shampoo, you're not using any cream moisturizers in your hair and stuff you have to be consistent with your washes and your rinses in order for your hair to not to dry out now for the past three months i haven't been consistent at all and my hair has suffered for it like my ends being dry and i need a professional trim the issue that i'm having is with it is that even though it is really easy to rinse, on occasions I don't have time to wash my hair once a week. Sometimes it might be, you know, 14, 16 days before I get round to washing my hair again. And sometimes it's just a case of I'm too busy or I've got my hair in a protective style. Because there's one thing, you could have your hair in a protective style and, you know, let water hit your head, but really give it a good massage and, you know, and get your sub um, sebaceous glands really going to, you know, get the sebum coming down your hair st strands. The past three months, I've been inconsistent. I haven't been washing my hair, you know, w once a week. And when I do get round to washing my hair, I feel like, okay, this is gonna take more than apple cider vinegar. It's certainly gonna take more than just hot water to get, you know, the gunk out of my hair. In my last update video, I said that I would be introducing um, shampoo into my regime slowly, which I've been doing. I haven't even been rinsing my hair once a week, let alone shampooing my hair once a week, but I will, I don't know, I don't know if I want to use shampoo or just something else that is a bit more, I remember before using um, this whole water only method, I used to cold wash all the time and my hair flourished and I would shampoo once in a while. So I'm thinking of going back to what used to work and in terms of like uh, moisturising my hair, I do think that what this regime has taught me is that I need very, very little. I don't need as much oils as you know you seem to think and I think I learned that as well from you know Rosemary Godwin when I remember when she mentioned that she's not doing she's not doing the water only method I was a little bit crushed girl I was a little bit crushed because I was like oh man I, I hope that some of you don't feel the same way that you've started it and you know I'm there with you but I'm not going to be there with you anymore I'm not going to continue on that journey it's just doing the water only you cannot afford you can't afford to be lazy as as well as other things there are pros to it. I mean, it is less maintenance and all the pros that I mentioned in my previous videos, I will leave, um, I'll, I will leave the playlist up so that you can refer to it because it is beneficial. And as well as that as, um, I'm in between, I'm in between stylists. So I'm looking for somebody else who can, care for my hair. I don't know, I feel like I can't maintain that life because it is a bit of a lifestyle change. So this is just a really short update letting you know what's going on with my hair. And if you are similar to me whereby you feel like, okay, you can't keep up with this routine, you shouldn't just go straight back into shampoo like consistently because you could end up um, damaging your hair. 
you basically have to go back into it slowly and gradually if you do want to start using shampoo. So I've started by co-washing, co-washing and then introducing shampoo into my regime just once in a while before I do it more frequently again. So this is what I'm going to be doing. And then obviously now that I'm using shampoo again, I'll have to start doing treatments and all sorts of stuff like that. But yeah, moving forward, I'm a little bit disappointed to say that, yes, I don't, I just feel like my ends have suffered like I need I do need a good trim um I just need to work out something that works for me I don't I just don't like to faff about with my hair also sometimes that means rinsing my hair is just long so I know I'm supposed to wash my hair once a week but if I don't I don't want to I don't want my scalp to start acting crazy and I don't want to start my hair to be really dirty so I I love to hear what you're doing with your hair. Comment below. I'm very grateful for all of you who left me links and commented and gave me advice as to what to do and this and that. I really, really do appreciate them all. So that that's all I've got to say on the matter, really. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, think smart, work hard, make it happen. Bye. About friends with shade yes you know the ones you might even be one of them